embryology of the eye. The central nervous system is developed from the neural groove which invaginates to form the neural tube running longitudinally down to the dorsal surface of the embryo. At either side from the lateral aspect of the anterior portion of the structure, which is a precursor of the forebrain, a thickening appears at an early stage, which is called the optic plate, which then grows outwards as a diverticulum towards the surface to form the primary optic vesicle. From this pair of diverticula, form from the sides of the forebrain and the mesodermal and ectodermal structures in contact with it, the two eyes develop. After it meets the surface ectoderm, the primary optic vesicle invaginates from below, that is from the optic curve. The line of the invagination remains open for some time as the embryonic fissure. The inner layer of the curve forms the main structures of the retina, the nerve fibers from which eventually grow backward towards the brain. Its outer layer remains as a single layer of pigment epithelium between the two lies a narrow space representing the original optic vesicle and from its anterior border develops parts of the ciliary body and iris. At the point where the neural ectoderm meets the surface ectoderm, the latter thickens to form the lens plate, invaginates to form the lens vesicle and then separates to form the lens. The hyoid artery enters the optic cup through the embryonic fissure and grows forwards to meet the lens, bringing temporary nourishment to the developing structures before it eventually atrophies and disappears. As it does so, its place is taken by a clear jelly, the vitreous, largely secreted by the surrounding neural ectoderm. While these ectodermal events are taking place, the mesoderm surrounding the optic curve differentiates to form coats of eye and the orbital structures that between the lens and the surface ectoderm becomes hollowed to form the anterior chamber lined by mesodermal condensations which from, from the anterior layers of the iris, the angle of the anterior chamber and the main structures of the cornea, while the surface ectoderm remains as the corneal and conjunctival epithelium. In the surrounding region, folds grow over in the front of cornea, unite and separate again to form the lids. In summary, the eyes essentially form from both the ectoderm and mesoderm. The ectoderm is of two types. Firstly, the neural ectoderm derived from the neural tube and secondly, the surface ectoderm on the side of the head.